with various things. And amongst the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He honored them with, sitru al-awra, is to cover the awra. Wa hijab al-mar'a, sitru li-awratiha. And the hijab of the Muslim woman, it covers her awra. فَكَيْفَ تُهِينُ نَفْسَهَا How could she therefore despise herself? How could she make herself cheap by exposing herself? لِأَنَّ الْحِجَابِ طَهَارَةٌ Because hijab is purity. وَالدَّلِيلُ قَوْلُهُ تَعَالَى And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to affirm this in the Qur'an, وَإِذَا سَأَلْتُمُوهُنَّ مَتَاعًا فَاسْأَلُوهُنَّ مِنْ وَرَاءِ حِجَابٍ ذَٰلِكَ أَطْحَرُ لِقُلُوبِكُمْ وَقُلُوبِهِنْ And when you ask his wives for anything, these are the wives of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How about the other women? It should even be more emphasized for them. And when you ask his wives for anything you want, then ask from behind a screen that is purer for your hearts and their hearts. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He referred to hijab as tahara لِقُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ For the hearts of the believing men and women, لِأَنَّ الْعَيْنَ إِذَا لَمْ تَرَى لَمْ يَشْتَهِ الْقَلْبِ Because if the eyes doesn't see, the heart will not desire. And likewise, it cuts off the ambitions of those ones who have disease in their hearts. الذين في قلوبهم مرض فلا تخضعن بالقول فيطمع الذي في قلبه مرض Then be not soft in your speech like the sisters do nowadays when they speak to the opposite sex Hi, how are you? ولا تخضعن بالقول فيطمع الذي في قلبه مرض then be not soft in speech, lest he in whose heart is a disease should be moved with desire. The moment you speak like that, you have sent a message that I am now available for flirting and shukansi. Also from the reasons of wearing hijab, لِأَنَّ الْحِجَابِ غِيرًا You know what is غِيرًا? I don't, I couldn't find any word in English that translates ghira. But I believe you understand what is ghira because it is inside the heart. فَهُوَ يَتَنَاسَبْ مَعَ الْغِيرَةِ أَلَّتِي جُبِلَ عَلَيْهَا الرَّجُلُ السَّوِيْهِ It goes hand in hand with the ghira that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created in all straight men. All straight men that Allah created with a sense of ghira. Likewise, Sayyiduna Ali radiallahu anhu, he said, Balaghani anna nisa'akum. He was criticizing a people, he said, Balaghani anna nisa'akum. Yuzashimna al-uluj, ay rijal al-kuffar, min al-ajam fi al-aswaq. Ala tagharun? إِنَّهُ لَا خَيْرَ فِي مَنْ لَا يَغَارَ He said to those men, Why is it that your women, they freely intermingle with kuffar men in the marketplace? Don't you people have ghira? For there is no goodness in a person who has no ghira inside him. A woman should love hijab. What is the meaning of love of hijab? أن تشعر المرأة بأن الحجاب جزء من جسدها That a woman should feel that this hijab is part of her body. وأنه سترها That is what covers her. وأداة حيائها وعنوان عفتها It is what testifies to her chastity. وَطَرِيقُهَا لِحُبِّ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى It is her path to win, to earn the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَسُلَّمُهَا إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ 
and the stairs that she climbs in order to get to Jannah. My sisters in Islam, Al-Hijab Mabharun Wabah Lil Mar'at al Muslimah. Everywhere you go in this world, you can tell between the difference between a Muslim woman from a non-Muslim woman because of the hijab. It has become an identity. It is the identity of the Muslim woman. And here is an amazing story, ya akhawat. One brother, Da'i, Ahad al-Du'at, he traveled to Germany and he said that I was visiting one of the Islamic centers in Germany when I saw a sister wearing the full hijab that is rarely seen in the West. You don't rarely, you rarely come across this full hijab. So I praise Allah for that. One brother even advised me to speak to her husband so that he could tell me how she became a Muslim. So he went to the husband and the husband told him, told, told him, my wife is a German, meaning a pure German. She is a gynecologist by profession. And she was doing some research on sexually transmitted diseases. Afflicts women. She did some tests on some of her patients. Then another doctor, a more senior doctor, advised her to travel to another country to complete her research. So she went to Norway. She went to Norway. After three months, she didn't see much difference from what she had seen in Germany. So she decided to go to Saudi Arabia for one year. Before she traveled to Saudi Arabia, she started reading information about this country, its religion, its culture. She says, I started despising Muslim women because of hijab. I couldn't understand how she could allow herself to be oppressed and restricted by wearing hijab. When I arrived in Saudi Arabia, I was told that I had to wear the abaya, you know the abaya, the black cloak. So I felt this was an insult to my dignity. But she says, I chose to be patient. After four months of working in a hospital and seeing patients, she says, I did not come a sink across a single case, even one of sexually transmitted disease. I became depressed, she says. So days went by until seven months had gone by. And still, I, seen, I hadn't seen anyone with sexually transmitted diseases. One day I became annoyed and just walked out. A female colleague saw me and asked me what was going on. So I gave her the reason. She whispered some Arabic words, tamtamat bi kalimat arabiya, which I couldn't understand. So I asked her, what did you just say? She said, that's the fruit, the fruit of virtuousness. And that is the fruit of practicing Islam. This female doctor says that this colleague mentioned a verse from the Quran. She mentioned قوله تعالى والحافظين فروجهم والحافظات And those believing men and women who guard their chastity. So she said, this verse of the Quran, it shook me, هزتني هذه الآية. She says, this verse, it shook me so much. وعرفتني بحقيقة غائبة عني. It attracted my attention to something that was absent from my mind. وَكَانَتْ تِلْكَ بِدَايَةُ طَرِيقِ لِتَعَرُفِ عَلَى الْإِسْلَامِ She says, that was the beginning of how I came to discover Islam. فَأَخَذْتُ أَقْرَأَ الْقُرْآنَ الْعَظِيمِ So I started reading the 